Sir, why don't the capitalists understand the absurdity of their economic theory? Is it because they're not intelligent enough to grasp the principles of our atrocitarian utopia? You know, I think that's the question that's on everyone's mind. They're not unintelligent so much as they are corrupt, Colonel. Mm. The capitalists are also ignorant. They don't know about science. Mm. You know, they don't know about evolutionary politics. You see, in our evolutionary past, the primitive humans were capitalists. A capitalist is like a Neanderthal or an Australopithecus, uh, in other words. I see. But then random genetic mutations allowed some of these primitive people to evolve and become atrocitarians. It's an example of speciation. Hmm. The more genetically advanced atrocitarians sought to liberate the workers, but the capitalists had not evolved, so they continued to seek to exploit and subjugate their workers. Now I understand, sir. But were the capitalists able to withstand environmental stresses as effectively as these more evolved atrocitarians? No, they were not. This is where natural selection comes into play. The atrocitarians were better adapted to their environment, but the capitalists began to die out because they lacked these more advanced adaptations. Yes, sir. So as evolution continues to progress, as humanity continues to develop out of its former regressive ways into the fullness of evolution's plan for us, we shall see the people renounce capital and private property, surrendering the means of production to the state so that they may live communally in the utopia that I, your glorious leader, General Secretary F., have established for them, according to evolution's intent.